President Biden is not expected to attend the Prime Minister's flagship artificial intelligence conference this autumn in what's being branded an utter embarrassment for Mr Sunak. Yeah, I mean, other people are going. This is despite the Prime Minister hailing the so-called special relationship and making AI the centrepiece of his visit when he visited the White House in June. So is it all going to be a flop before it starts? Andrew Eborn is... Well, a technology lawyer doesn't quite do it. He knows his stuff He's when it comes to all this. He's a futurologist. Futurologists yeah. have knowledge everywhere. A futurist is always good. And you're right. Every single day there's some great stories about AI. And it, you get that sort of negative spin, don't you? Uh, well, tomorrow... does it matter that Biden... No, it doesn't going. matter at all. Tomorrow is the 60th anniversary of Martin Luther King and that great speech, I had a dream. T well, tomorrow is? It is. is it? 60th oh. anniversary. Well, I have a dream that we celebrate what the UK has achieved in AI. We punch way above our weight. We are our world leaders. Basically, uh, Google, Google Deep Mind was created here. We have about, uh, what's it, uh, 50,000... Sorry, what's Google Deep Mind? So they do all this sort of uh, chat and uh, GPT, you've got AI and so on and so oh. forth. So some, we are the pioneers in this space. So why are we so frightened of it? Um, well, we, and we should be frightened. There are risks involved. And Stephen Hawking, he said, it's our greatest human achievement, but also the existential threat. So it's quite appropriate that we have it at uh, Bletchley Park, because uh, the whole of where they cracked the Enigma code, the home of Alan Turing, a mm. brilliant mind who first sort of devised the test for AI to say, hang about, this is how you can work out if you're talking to a computer. Mm. Um, interestingly, you've now got capture, as you know. Uh, basically, that's the little thing when you say if you're a computer or not. Yeah. Oh, you, yes. have to, you have to work out, pick out the, 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 the bus stops, and the, yeah. the, the, which is really tricky. What I love is that this week they did a research that AI is better at doing capture than humans are. So it uh. defeats that sort of object. I find uh, that very annoying, that. Oh, it, it is annoying, and we're not very good at it. About 50% yeah. of the time we fail, but 85% AI gets it right, mm -hmm. so it defeats the object. Oh, now, so what have we seen in AI? That you, see, you talk about the excitement, a lot of us in the papers, it's all about, oh, it's all doom and gloom. So what is it about ex uh, AI which is worth pursuing, that, which makes us excited? Let me give you, as I say, every single day is a great story. One particularly lovely story which we had this week is somebody called Anne, who's been paralysed for 18 years, and the only way she's been able to communicate beforehand is using her eyes, basically, to pick out words, which is a mm. really long process. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What they've done now, using AI, is to use her voice, they can synthesise it, they've created an avatar which looks like her, it can do and basically map the brain waves directly from the brain so they can get speeches and it makes it in virtually real time. They can use facial expressions as well because that part of the brain is really, really powerful. So somebody who is in a world of silence all of a sudden has the power through AI to do that. Also this through, week... Hold on, through brainwaves. Yes, basically, it's brainwaves. They, they, what they do, they, they basically connect to... You're going to love this. It connects to that part of the brain where you can normally... where speech would normally happen. It can all, and also facial expressions. And what they do, they connect directly to that in, in, a, um, in an OK way. And what then happens, it can pick up those brain waves. But I'd be really and worried about that. I mean, we're all sitting here thinking, not, when, I'm speaking, yes. but I'm probably thinking other things as well. I, I and I might be thinking things I really wouldn't want you to know. Oh, and it's going to get worse than that. It's going to be the best lie detector ever. We're going to be able to read your dreams in your night and, and to transcribe those as well. Mm. Um, great powers as well. I and mean, also this week, I'm talking about another advent, uh, advance in about uh, Parkinson's. Oh, so yeah. my good friends at Moorfields uh, have basically said they can predict maybe seven years earlier the likelihood that you might get Parkinson's because they can do monitoring of the eyes. I've had this test, very, very simple, not very uh, in, 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 uh, obtrusive sort of test. Mm. And they can turn around and say, well, hang on, we can predict these neurological advances. So the longer you've got before anything starts, the more time they've got to... Prevention is better prevention. than cure. Yeah. And every single day there are great stories. That so has say, to be true of dementia as well. It, it is true of dementia and, and cancers and so on and so forth. We will, the greatest achievements that we can do, we're going to solve diseases, we're going to be basically harness all these sort of tremendous opportunities. What we need to look at are the positive stories. People should be scared and we should make sure that things like hallucinations where it makes it up, basically. Mm -hmm. You get that sort of side. Uh, and they, they, we don't want it to be completely automated because no. that could be dangerous. Yeah. But it's not the fear of the machines, it's the fear of what humans might do with those machines. And that's what we need to regulate. So all praise to Rishi. Bletchley Park, we should celebrate oh, I know. that. I mean, and if there's one principle. reason that President Biden should come, it's just so he can see Bletchley. Oh, 
I, I didn't love it. Isn't it? And it's yeah. not far. It's just an hour from London. Yeah. Milton Keynes. Wonderful. And, and all praises say to Alan Turing, who back of a fifty pound yeah. note. <laughs> so yeah. You work on that oh. sort of basis. Uh, I love it. The Let's focus on the good. The only fifty pound note I've seen the new ones. It was one of yours. Go on. You can have. I, 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 I could do that. We work on that basis because it, it is always about sort of Alan Turing. Oh, and, and got, and no, we've got loads of these. Um, and, and that, you, that's better what back, you better... But there you go. Alan Turing on the back of a £50 oh. note. You can have that. We'll put it towards our lunch. We can celebrate in style. Oh, right. Where's camera wonderful. two? That is brilliant. There you go. Have a look at that. There's, that. There's Alan Turing. And we should, whose differently wired brain we should now celebrate, because he went through hell yes, he did. while oh, he was yeah. alive. Mm. He did, And I yeah. think the fact that we now recognise him on our major currency, before that disappears altogether as well, um, is tremendous. Yeah. And we should, when we remember November the 1st and November the 2nd, that's when we're going to have this AI summit, we want to make sure that we're fr front and centre of this. The UK should be championing this, not looking for negative stories. No. And I think that's no. the way to do it. And you're, all praise to him. You're going to be backing our Don't Kill Cash campaign. Campaign, Andrew. But I, 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 absolutely. absolutely. Um, uh, just very, very, very briefly, yes. have you ever written a nasty resignation letter? Well, I would get AI to do it, because I reckon <laughs> it would come up with the best <laughs> turn yes, of phrase ever. And it wouldn't take three pages to do it either. No, it's a very fair point. Andrew, good to see you. Good to see Thank you, you very much indeed.